Hey everybody. Hey everyone. It's Elisa. Not Doki Doki. Yep. We were gonna play Doki Doki, but it turned out we, we didn't only... play it. Well, we did, but it turned out we had way less to go than we thought we did. Whoops. So we're playing some Lisa instead. I already read the dirt sheets. This show is gonna suck. Cool. All right. Pro wrestling is forever. Even at the end of the world, it still thrives. It completely fulfills your primal need for violence and glistening bodies. All humans have this need. Only few are willing enough to accept it. Okay. Cool. So, uh, let's see. Last time we played this, we found Buddy. Mm hmm. But then that other guy showed up. Yeah, Buzzo. And knocked us out and took Buddy. Uh, Buddy, right? yeah, more or less. So now we gotta find Buddy again. But first, let's wrestle. Wrestle. I love wrestling. I run the EWC, Eternal Wrestling Congregation. I think I can use you. How about I put you in a match? Since you're new, I want you to lose, but put up a good show. How about it? Sounds good. Great. Let's get you in action. Remember to lose. And now, welcome to the ring, Wonder Wizard. <laughs> Wonder Wizard! I always rise to the top. I am the cream of the crop. Oh yeah! Alright, we have to fight this guy, but we can't beat him. So let's just bite him a lot. The wrestling is fake. It's not fake, it's just a soap opera with fighting. I never knew wrestling was just shown in anime. It is kind of just shown in anime. Yeah. Bad touch. Stop bad touching me and just beat the shit out of me. I don't have all day, damn. Still have to find my daughter, again. Yeah. <laughs> but I also have to mess around in wrestling. Slow down, brother. This is my show. Listen, if you want me to slow down, you gotta hurry up and kill me, alright? There you go. Now you're getting it. Come on, beat me up. There we go. Also, we didn't refresh the chat, so we still have comments about Doki Doki on here. Oh well. <laughs> Looks like we have a winner, Wonder Wizard on a rampage. This is just the best dating sim, <laughs> right now. Well done. You may have a future in this business. I think I can give you a uh, us a push. Come speak to me if you're interested in a match. Take a little nap -a Let's uh let's start a career in wrestling. Our daughter can wait, you know? <laughs> it's been my dream to become a pro wrestler since youth. What would your wrestler name be, Chelsea? Hmm. And what would your gimmick be? Hmm. I would be the Rayburn, nice. and I would dress up with lots of like really flashy sun symbols and stuff, Sick. and have lots of reflective things. So I would just like shine lights in their eyes, cool, and like set them on fire. Fighting biscuits and gravy. <laughs> I like this guy's gimmick. Rock! Rock and roll! We'll never die! And then eventually I'll just get a death ray. 
Yeah, dude. That's what's up. That's how wrestling do. Kirby says, who wouldn't want to date an EWC wrestler? <laughs> Alright, we gotta add to this guy. ADBS. Whoosh. Have you ever played or watched a playthrough of Lisa, Kirby? Do you know the story, or would you like us to summarize real quick for you? Oh, nice. I love them dirty magazines. Looks like we have a winner. Mrs. Mrs. Armstrong's back. <laughs> Mrs. Armstrong's baby boy. This guy's getting hot, folks. Keep an eye on him. Rah! Good match, Jack. So, this is, uh, takes place in sort of a post-apocalyptic world where all the women, did they die or just disappear? They disappeared mysteriously. Yeah, all the women disappeared mysteriously, so it's only men left. Mm -hmm. So everything has gone to shit. Right. And um, our character, Brad, who we changed his name to Brad, <laughs> um, he found this little baby girl mysteriously a little while back, and he decided to raise her and hide, you know, that she's a girl because he didn't want a bunch of creeps going after her. Ex but, understandable. Uh, unfortunately, she was discovered and went missing. So we've been on a journey to find her. Basically, the game is very much inspired by Earthbound, yeah. but it has more of a, like, dark humor, adult situations and stuff. Yeah. Um, more recently, we did find our daughter. Her name is Buddy. But then this other douchebag showed up and took her again. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we're some, still trying to find her. It's some weird like drug dealer who hates us for some reason is always like hounding us and ruining our time. Oh, we also had to chop off an arm to save our friend. Yeah. So we only have one arm. We had to save our best friend Terry Hints. <laughs> But, oh, is this the title match? Gary the Hot Soup wants to end his life. Hey, Buster. I'll show you what the EWC is really about. Very intimidating. <laughs> I love Gary the Hot Soup. <laughs> Take that, Gary. <laughs> Fuck you, Gary. Gary. I eat your soup for breakfast. Damn it, Gary. <laughs> Looks like we have a winner, Miss Armstrong's baby boy. He's unstoppable. Wow, Buster. Respect. <laughs> I guess. Internal championship. You win this match, game over. But Let's since then, this. we have uh, traveled the world, found new companions for our party, including a fish who walks around and has a gun, and he's a lawyer. <laughs> And, uh, a, uh, we'll have luchador. A luchador. And, uh... This seems like cheating. <laughs> this doesn't seem fair. <laughs> That's not regulation. Uh... We have a guy who tells lots of stories. Yeah, we have guys who tell stories at enemies. Yeah. We have a guy who falls down and tells us hints. He's our <laughs> best friend. <laughs> We've also gone through many trials. Uh, we had to pour ourselves out at one point. <laughs> Holy smokes, folks! Who is <laughs> this masked man? What's he doing? Oh, he hit us with a chair. Give him the chair! That just ain't right! Think of his damn family! <laughs> Good God Almighty! Ring the damn bell! End of this match! I was defeated. I was defeated? By a, literally a swing and a miss. Bah, God. The Masked Man has vanished. Who was that man? What were his motives? Find out next time on Dragon Ball Z. Find out next time on wrestling. I mean... Oh, I win. <laughs> that son of a bitch cost me the damn match. It's just like wrestling. <laughs> I uh, used to watch wrestling pretty regularly, and goddamn, it's hilarious. It's the best. <laughs> um. But yeah, so 
I guess that's the long and short of it. I know. Stop telling me this stuff. How many of these do you have to do? I don't remember. <laughs> I like this guy's <laughs> costume. <laughs> Man's worst friend. <laughs> <laughs> um, eventually you get a party member out of this, which is why I'm doing it. Mm. Um, there's actually yeah, our party members keep dying because you keep playing Russian roulette. Yeah, they're like they get eaten by a mutant, or like they get kidnapped, <laughs> or we play Russian roulette and they get die. This guy isn't even fighting me. <laughs> oh, I think his costume's pretty heavy. Yeah. Okay, he, I guess, growled at us. <laughs> I'm sure if that track had existed <laughs> at that time, it would have been very appropriate. I'm so close. Come on, just give me my party member. Damn. Who's up next? Who do we got to fight next? Now, Brad will be taking on a very strong man today. A man so... Not so fast. <sighs> I want you. But why? Why masked man? Because it's me, Armstrong. <laughs> oh hell, damn, son of a bitch. It's me. It was me all along. Wonder Wizard. You all bought it. Even my immediate family bought it. <laughs> that explains it. <laughs> this is, um straight out of a thing that happened in the WWF <laughs> Attitude Era between, I think, um, Vince McMahon and Stone Cold Steve Austin. Hmm. So that's funny. <laughs> so that's fun. I'm still gonna kick Wonder Wizard's butt, though. Yeah. Yeah, it's stupid. I didn't get any mags for that one. Brad has won. Wizard is dead. He's dead. I killed him. <laughs> but that's not today's scheduled match. Match. Brad will have to face the great Zaladin. It ends now, Braddy baby. What would your wrestling name and shtick be? I'm... Um, my wrestling name i thought of this a long time ago but it would be the uh el tigre caliente <laughs> uh -huh. and i would be like a, a luchador uh -huh. but i would give my opponents kisses <laughs> that would make them um love me too much to fight me <laughs> ah see they're playing the system yeah see you gotta have you gotta have a hot new gimmick for people to like get interested in your storyline. Like you got the Undertaker who's literally a necromancer uh, and a lich. <laughs> you got Kane who's like the Undertale's like cousin who is a demon who was summoned from hell. Um, you've got like uh, there's this one. A uh, wrestler from like kind of the mid 90s, uh, early 2000s. He's still around. I mean, there's a lot of these wrestlers do this for years, way after their body is like just completely broken and destroyed, which is a huge shame. Mm -hmm. But there's this one wrestler who named Gold Dust, whose like whole gimmick was that they were just kind of like this fop from Hollywood, mm -hmm. which he's actually very great and like. Like, his gimmick was kind of, like, the gimmick I liked best because he would just try and seduce the opponent. <laughs> um, they, like, I think in the 90s people didn't respond well to that. Mm. I think um, in the 90s, just in general, people were a little too not ready for that kind of hot man-on-man -man romance. Mm. So he, like, had his gimmick sort of retooled to where he was just rich hmm. and an asshole gotcha i didn't know byakuya was a wrestler right 
Well, there's a lot of Byakias. Honestly, the gimmick of Rich Asshole is like pretty ubiquitous. <laughs> That's why Tiger Millionaire is so funny. <laughs> This can be the greatest booking ever. You two have a feud forever. You have to lose the title match. It's best for the business. If you win, the title belt is yours. Yours. We can't have that. I'll kick you out of the company forever. You ready for this fate deciding match? So we're gonna win this one, I think. This is it, folks. The final match for the eternal title. Hello to Death Queen. <laughs> Whoa. The dead man rises. Yeah, this is basically the Undertaker. Um. We're gonna beat him. We're gonna get that title belt, even <laughs> if it means that we get kicked out of EWC forever. Oh. So spooky. your wrestling career. Eh, whatever. I actually might lose against the Death Queen just because, like, we're. Not suit very strong, all things considered. Get him. Get him! <laughs> nice. Okay. We're the king of wrestling. Hooray! Hooray! Brad has won. This title is his. I got the eternal title belt. Nerd. <laughs> get out. Achievement unlocked. You've ruined wrestling. <laughs> oh, maybe we don't get a party member. Maybe I did this for no reason. Boo! Oh, I'm sorry, everyone. I thought I knew this game. I still can rest at this wrestler's bed though, so that's important. I'm sure like, if anybody ever decides to watch this on YouTube, I'll get a million comments like, you know you're supposed to lose, you get the party member. So I'm sorry everyone. <laughs> I pretend to be an expert on this show, but I really don't know shit about anything. <laughs> Even wrestling, everything I just told oh. you about wrestling was fake. Just like wrestling. Ah! What's over here? Soup. What's in here? Hmm. <laughs> Give me your soup. Soup for me. Didn't even talk to you. <laughs> Rude. Took all your soup. Hello, traveler. You like that wrestling shit? I think it's so stupid. Oh, Come on, dude. It's fun. The devil's machine is rumored to be a semi-truck. But it's the cargo that's the man's the true mystery. We're not gonna fuck around with the devil machine because that's like an optional boss and it's really hard and like I don't feel like fucking around with it. I wanna know what's inside the devil machine. It turns humans into freaking mush. What could it that do that? A blender? <laughs> yep. Hey brother. You best not go beyond this camp. The devil owns the rest of this land. So yeah, so there's a little boss. Um, he'll, you can fight him, you'll get a bunch of experience points and I think you'll get a cool item or something. Mm. How many mags do I got? I got a pretty good amount of mags. Do I have any um, joy that I can settle this man? Mm -hmm. Yes, I do. I can give Terry a fur coat. Meaty pads. Hawaiian poncho for birdie. Ooh, these dandy hats are good as heck. I don't need four though. <laughs> Ooh, deluxe sunscreen for Brad. Ohine Poncho, cool. Equipment, yeah. 
Oh man, everybody loves a the thing is that everyone loves um watching people menu in RPGs. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh what's your favorite part about menuing in RPGs? Uh it's great when I don't really understand what's happening. That's pretty cool, right? Yeah, when it's so convoluted because there are like a million different stats. Yeah, right. Like and I'm, I just don't know. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, dude, we need more stats in these RPGs. I want to wear that eternal belt. Nice. Like, I was reading this article that was kind of interesting about why Breath of the Wild is so good, even though technically it does things that... Uh, Tons of other open world games have already done. What yeah. makes it still so good? And a lot of it was about the simplicity of it. It is refreshingly simple. Yeah. Oh hey. And it's true, like when I was playing, for instance, Witcher and equipping items and stuff, there was a lot of things with like skill points and abilities and actual gear where I was just like overwhelmed. Yeah. Whereas with Breath of the Wild it's like this thing is a higher number than the other thing. It's easy, pe easy peasy. Easy peasy. Oh, okay. We get this guy for winning at wrestling. We do get a party member. So Hooray. shut up, YouTube comments. <laughs> I knew what I was doing. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> uh, let's switch out. Terry, I love you, but I'm going to use um, our new guy for a minute. Kirby wants stats for their stats. Dude, stats are great. Damn, this guy's pretty okay, I think. Actually, maybe he sucks. <laughs> Schizo wrestler. Yeah, well, it's like we're really playing Dango Rampa. <laughs> He's got 87 luck. That's crazy, though. Oh, whatever. We'll run with him for a minute, and if we don't like him, we'll just switch him out. Hello. Hi. If you have a death wish, you'll continue on. I'm seriously not fucking around. The Devil's Machine rests beyond this point. If you enter the machine, you will never return. Your body will be mutilated. Nobody knows what's inside the machine. We just know that nobody returns. You still want to pass? No, I'll stay. Smart man. Bye! If you really want to watch the Devil's Machine thing, then leave a comment in the YouTube video and I'll make a video about it. I've essentially freed myself from any responsibility by saying that. <laughs> <laughs> Good job, leave, a, leave a comment and, and then we'll share a link to another playthrough no. that did it. We'll share a link to someone else doing it. <laughs> and when I say doing it, I mean doing the, the boss. Doing the boss? Doing the boss. Mm. Oh, cool, another crow. Gotta save it every crow, it's important. Yeah. This game's very precarious. Hey, it's sticky. That's one slippery girl you got there, Brad. She's tough, <coughs> that's for sure. All that isolation did her curious mind some good. It's over, Tony. <laughs> Haven't heard that name in a while. That's what my dad used to call me. Are you my dad? <laughs> that's why we clicked. You were the only one that understood what it was like. We used to be so alike. Poor, beaten, fucked up kids. Except, I kept my chin up. You fell down. You don't have an excuse, not with me. All this stuff with Buddy, it's bullshit. What happened to us? What happened to survival, to brotherhood? I don't care about that anymore. Buddy is my daughter. She's my second chance. Huh. <laughs> Get real. She was a gift to the world, not to you. She's not your child, you fool. Face it, you're just not a man enough to do what needed to be done. But don't worry. The world is safe. I made sure. Slowly it. pedal towards him. <laughs> Ominously pedal towards him. On my child's bicycle. No. Uh. <laughs> it's that guy we beat the shit out of. Brad. Please don't hurt him. Please, I'm begging you. 
kill them or let them live. Mm. Ooh, choice. Um, we'll let him live. Be a nice man. Get up. Leave. Don't ever show your faces again. Thank you. Let's go, Sticky. This isn't over. Bye. We oh, <laughs> careful. <laughs> Don't fall off that cliff. Don't fall off the cliff. Then we have to watch that cutscene again. Whoosh. 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 Ah. <laughs> ah. Oh no. Hey, bud. Did you have a nice reunion? Thought you'd want to see your pals. So I let them live for you. <coughs> that reminds me. Blam! Do you know this girl? I do, all too well. I never wanted her here. There's no it's no place for a girl. But I guess she can be a useful tool. Maybe now I can show you what it feels like. What do you want? That's nice. You're learning. Shut the fuck up. Don't tell me what. Just tell me what you want. Bradley, I'm shocked. You really are changing. But you still haven't suffered enough. You used to be so joyful. These people are holding you back. You're better off alone. I want them all dead. Or... Her nipple. I'll cut it off. That's fair, right? She has two, after all. It's not a tough choice. Uh... Uh, buddy! So... Buddy, no! Our choices are... We can get these three guys killed. Or Buddy loses a nipple. Fuck those guys. I like these guys. <laughs> but Buddy! Alright! Can we say neither? We can't say neither. Oh. If we say neither, he just does both. Um, but buddy. All right. We don't even know one guy. He just joined us. He just joined <laughs> us. But I like the fish. Yeah, I do like the fish. But buddy. All right. Bye. Sorry, guys. <laughs> you. <laughs> that's you. You're disgusting. Three lives over a single flesh wound. You really want that? Yeah. You make me sick. I didn't think you could sink any lower. Go ahead. We got more party members. Well, at Kirby, least... Kirby has said, cut it off, LMAO. And RIP, fish. Hey, my, my arm. <laughs> <laughs> Who is this? This is, this is the same guy. Oh. Well, that was quick. She got away. She's impressive, I'll give her that. It's always the sweetest fruit that comes from the most rotten loins. She would have been a real asset with the women. What are you talking about? It doesn't concern your kind. Brad, I've been working very hard with you. I'm glad you've been taking joy. I quit that shit doesn't matter at this point. I've made sure of that. And it's a good thing. I get to play with you longer. But no matter what I do, it still hurts. You haven't suffered enough for what you did to her. Your other arm. Give it to me. How am I supposed to ride a bike with one arm? Or with no arms? Or give me your possessions. Your magazines, your clothes, items, all of it. Can you survive without them? What's more important to you? Yeah, yeah, my other arm. You're really breaking my heart. Step forward. I'll make sure you remember this. Your attack has decreased. Your defense has decreased. Lost all abilities with your arms. No combos. The pain increases your need for joy. Great, now we don't have any arms. <laughs> How are you climbing? 
with my teeth. <laughs> <laughs> Kirby says, just put some ice on it. I'm sure the arm is fine. <laughs> You're steering with your mouth. Yep. <laughs> Dude, I'm tardy. Guess what? The girl stole my boat. She sailed to the island to the far right of us. It's unbelievable how resilient she was. I was completely overpowered. Now, I do have a brother who has a boat, but he couldn't possibly make it over here. The waters are too rocky. But if we can build a new boat, I can take you to her. I just need some wood, a sail, a way to propel the boat, and tools to put it all together. You get all that and you got a deal. Get to it. Sweet. Well, first things first, so we got to um, put together a new party. <laughs> well, let's put together a new party after a quick break. <laughs>